Hello and welcome back to Farmer Talk. Scrambler, stream, sun. Here's my co-presenter Hugo. Hello, you. Have you got the script this time? Are you going to get it right? Hmm. <laughs> Moto Bob, the uh, bike YouTuber, really successful uh, YouTuber. Uh, go and have a look at his channel, the main channel. And uh, we've been chatting a bit, texting and this, that and the other. And cut a very long story short, he came down to the farm about two weeks ago with a BMW Urban GS. The idea was to have fish and chips in Lymouth. <laughs> no, the idea was, let's get together the Urban GS, do a dual vid, compare the two, ride across Exmoor, which Rob didn't know very well, and have fish and chips at Lymouth. <laughs> that was the plan. We, oh, his car got bumped first thing in the morning, taking the kids to the school. He then zipped down here in double quick time and I heard him fly past the drive. And uh, <laughs> if you're watching this, Rob, you'll be smiling. And then what do two blokes that love bikes do? And we chatted and chatted and chatted. The result was neither of us got very good footage. Now let's just qualify that because Rob has got some excellent footage. We did ride over to Lynmouth for the fish and chips. And on that he's come up with, and it's, it's already on his second channel, which is called Moto Bob Vlogs. Have a look at that. Uh, it's a new channel he set up and this was one of the first vids he put up on there. And it was a bit scary when I saw it because he, he followed me. I led the way over Exmoor. And of course he's videoing, doing his vloggy bit. And there's me being videoed from behind. And uh, yeah, that, that was a bit scary. <laughs> anyway, it's all all right. Go and have a look at the vid. And um, it's a chill out chatty vid as we ride over there. So, the, so that was the idea. Right, so it was all a bit hectic. Anyway, we did, we did get some stuff done. So hello, Hugie. First part of the plan, we went down by the river. This is a stream, a river over there. And uh, got the two bikes together. And Rob did his um, vloggy stuff and described the bikes. And I played with the drone and took some pictures and sat and laughed, basically. And so here's some footage, here's the clips and bits and pieces of that scene. We had a good time. Then we rode over the moor, etc. And now here's where the problem is from my point of view. But the footage I got was just from a helmet cam. I didn't have time to set up any other cameras or anything like that. And it's okay, but it's not great. I couldn't make a video of it. Hence, I'm here explaining how we mucked up, or I mucked up, or we chatted too much. Uh, but it was footage that was too good to throw away. So here we go. I've, I've put together clips. Do, 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 and it just gives you a flavor of what we did on the way to Lynmouth. So here's the footage. Try not to be, well, you can be as critical as you want, of course, <laughs> but I've tried to pick out bits and, and make it good, but I'll explain a bit more. So we'll, uh, next time we chat from here, uh, we'll be in Lynmouth. Hey, hey, pop it. Hey, Bob. 
Hello. Yeah, come in. Yeah. That looks smart. I heard you go. I, I, I obviously heard it go by. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there comes Rob on the very smart, I have to say, urban GS. We. Ta-da! I'm on gate duty. Great fun. So Rob is doing the GS bit. So as I speak. He's following and uh, doing his, well the GS is it's in 1199ccs and it's got wheels and blah 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 and I'm seeing what I think to my scrambler that I've ridden <laughs> loads of times. <laughs> What's going on here? I think it's the locals just about to kill us. <laughs> right, yes, enough chat. We'll have a word in a bit from the BMW. Nice day, by the way. Oh, let's just stand up here a little bit. There. Yeah, lovely day. See you in a bit. Yeah. My ne my immediate impression: comfy seat and uh, scrunched up legs. It, it's, I mean, it's not a sports bike, but it almost. I mean, crumbs. The scrambler is so much more relaxed riding position. It feels much sportier. Whereas on the scrambler, I'm chilled and. Uh, sort of how fast do you want to go this is it's already saying come on then let's go on which is fine I'm not just I'm just explaining the caricature of the bike let's see tight bends coming up here bit of back brake tip it in it's Yes, it's not a pointy bike, it's a sort of lean in and hold your line bike. Which in fairness, so is the Scrambler. I have a sneaky feeling that the Scrambler wins in the suspension department. But then it, you could argue it should with Olin's and the longer suspension. I mean, it's got, it's not twice the travel, but it isn't far off and uh, the roads being what they are let's come down the gears a little bit of brake oh it doesn't like some of these bumps i'm missing a gear indicator can't see why we shouldn't have one of them um what's the gearbox gearbox is okay let's tip this in here lovely now see that was really smooth and it felt a different bike that's coming so a few bumps a few bumps there and it doesn't overly like that oh well it's a very easy bike to ride the bars I'd be happier with the bars a bit higher think I just I sort of want it a bit more GSE I suppose there's a clue in the name isn't there it's a an urban GS so. so there you go townsfolk this is your bike to bash the speed bumps and width restrictions and fly up the pavements ah that in the distance is the is Dunkery let's go and see So, Mr. Rob, this is his um, Exmoor initiation. <laughs> Come on, girl. It's a really smooth engine. But then so's the Triumph. Which wins? 
Hmm. Actually, saying the smooth, there's a little bit of vibe, there's a bit more vibes through the bars and pegs on this. Might be niggly, I don't know, might on a motorway run, maybe, maybe. Let's come down through the gears, over the cattle grid, <laughs> past the ubiquitous defender. Right, this is one of my favourite places on Exmoor and it is just lovely. Not going to get much of a view today. Well, we are. We're going to get a stupendous view. But because it's cloudy, not cloudy, what am I talking about? It's really hazy. It's actually mega hazy. Look at that over there. It's almost so hazy as to be nice. Um, because it, it's, it's almost like misty. So I take it back might be might be good photography we'll see and i was huh, and but it is a com you sort of think they're similar but but then you ride them and <laughs> chalk and cheese yeah, totally. in a nice way yeah yeah. yeah 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 um can't even see the sea which is clearly in view i wonder if we We'll just have to put up with more, 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 more CC. Back to bikes again. <laughs> oh, oh, this is sad. And as we're comparing my XC scrambler, no, mine's an XE. We'll come up with that gag. You've got an XC? No, it's an XE. Yeah, that's what I meant, an XC. No. An XC. <laughs> I can't see the sea. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. Well, it's really hazy, but it's strangely beautiful. Now, this Contesbury Hill, I just never, ever am disappointed with. Hmm. Defender! Gonna have to get used to seeing the new ones. Chalk and cheese, as they say. So that looks like tied in, coming in. Doesn't look too busy. Fish and chips, fish and chips, fudge. Here it is, studio, a riverside spinning wheel quality gifts. The coffee mill, the boys, another defender. Memorial Hall, that was sad. The bakehouse. And very cute buildings. What shall we do? Go around the corner here. Let's come around the corner. Oh, and it's all cordoned off. Let's go on up to here and see what we think. I'm just going to loop around here and well, it's another tough day. Someone's got to do it, haven't they? And a uh, pair of gloves. It's funny what you find on the beach, isn't it? Do you know what? There must be a motorbike somewhere. Naked. A bit more power, a bit more power at the top end if you do start to push it as well. And I love the nice, smooth delivery of the Boxer Twins. So for me, this is the one to pick if you want a more road-focused bike. Number two is the character of the BMW in the retro market. You know the box. The, you know the box. Okay, so <laughs> this is so we're in Lynmouth and uh, it, we were behind time. Uh, it should be said, 
but uh, it's just such, it's a gorgeous place. If ever you're down this way, uh, Lynmouth Harbour, fish and chips, uh, from the Esplade fish and chip bar, they're just brilliant. And uh, there can, is there a better place to sit with fish and chips on the harbour there? But we, as I say, we'd run out of time. And uh, Rob had to do his uh, vloggy outro bit. And by the time he did that, and he, he, he was run out of time, he had to go. So, no fish and chips. I, we've, the discussions are in progress at the moment as to how this can be resolved between Farmer Talk and uh, Moto Bob. And um, I'm, I'm hopeful of an amicable solution uh, that another meeting can be arranged with fish and chips this time. Uh, but if not, I'll just have to get the legal team. So there you go. But what did I think of the GS properly here? Now there's an opportunity. Now obviously I'm biased because this thing is my bike. And uh, yeah, that's how I turn around and have a look. And I like it a lot, but I really did have an open mind on, uh, on that GS because I've got a bit of a soft spot for them. Uh, but it was interesting. Let's say good bits, not so good bits. I think that Urban GS looks fantastic. And in that 40th anniversary colour, spot on. Just love it. it, it to me, uh, oh, this retro thing and whatever, it's a bike. It's a bike to me with a boxer engine and fabulous boxer engine, by the way. Uh, a real, you know, and that's not the water cooled, this latest one. It's the, a sort of reincarnation of the old air cooled, air oil cooled um, engine. It's brilliant, really good. Needs to have the right exhaust on it, mind, which this one obviously has, I mean, it's just not fair to uh, compare those two there. Uh, what else? Next good bit, BMW quality. So great looks, good engine, and it's built beautifully. And I've owned quite a few BMWs and I can only speak from my experience, but I've had so little trouble with them, it's not true. And from a, as long as they're not salt all over them, you can put them away dirty. I use bikes and you don't have to mollycoddle them. And anyway, BMW quality, yeah, we like that. Now, not so good bits. The first thing is the price. And, that, and that's where this is interesting. I think a 2021 one of these comes in something at 12, high 12s, something like that. And that, um, admittedly in the colour scheme, but what's wrong with this, uh, well, it's 14 and a half. And that, for the fo and for following reasons, I find a just, just a bit strong. Or this is bargain of the year, make your own mind up. But, right, elephant in the room. And I have an, uh, bear with me on this one. I really wasn't impressed with the suspension, which uh, let's just, no bones about it. Let's bit. This thing absolutely buries it. And, and with a braking, these, these M50 Brembos, the chassis and everything, as a road bike, I mean, you know, we aren't talking about off-road, off-road ability, if you, if you put the right tires on this, no question. Uh, there's no, it, it, this, it isn't a GS, the other bike. It's a, it's a road bike, but that's fine. That's fine. But the suspension for me would be a limitation. And the second bit, which, and, it, and, and these are, these are all going to be answered. So bear, bear with me, please is the riding position, which is just too crunched up. My legs were just too tight. I, I don't, it certainly suits the smaller guy or girl more. So last year I was chatting to a, a dealer who they built a special, one of those bikes, and they put Wilmer suspension on it and also lowered the pegs and raised the bars. Apparently, and this is hearsay, I was supposed to get to use, borrow, have the bike down here for a bit to do vids on and etc. Never happened because of COVID and all that sort of thing. 
I really wish it had now because I'm, I'm, I'm having to speak secondhand uh, and of other opinions. Apparently, anybody who rode that bike w w was full of praise and this is how it should have come out of the factory. Now, and the riding position, because I think the, the suspension, that aftermarket suspension raises it quite a bit. So 70, don't quote me, have a look up. I think 70, 80 mil. That allows you to drop the pegs, much more relaxed riding position with your legs and raising the bars. And then you get a GSE riding position. This thing, the riding position on this is pretty much identical, or it feels it to me, to a, um, to a GS1250. And that is really, really good for everyday riding. It's just so comfortable. You stand up on the pegs really well. And um, yeah, so the standard bike that we rode, I'll stand by, you know, it's a little bit critical. There's good bits, there's not so good bits. But as I've said, I have a huge soft spot for that bike. And with those mods, mm, that, that definitely is in there on the wish list. The, the, the problem is this thing though. <laughs> I really like this. So, and interestingly, and I'll, I'll touch on it maybe in future vids, the, as you, this exhaust maketh this bike, I mean, it's a great bike, but the sounds this makes and the way this looks, obviously I'm sold. But I was checking out and on the new 2021 version of this, it's Euro 5. And I think it's gone up five plus kilos in weight. And I've got a sneaky feeling a lot of that, if not all of it, is up with the exhaust and et cetera. I may be wrong, so I'm just surmising here. This one saved five and a half kilos of when it was standard. I've got, there's a vid of mine out that um, shows it. And I could really feel the difference riding that five and a half kilo, remove that at that height. And the thing was much of it. So the difference between this bike and the new 2021, if you think, oh, I'll have one of these, there's 11, ki 11 kilos difference somewhere up there. Crazy. Well, uh, well I'll prove, uh, we'll find that out and see if that's true and, uh, and where we go. So in the meantime, thanks Rob for a great day out and uh, chatting and yeah, no fish and chips. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and we've got to sit here. This is a lovely spot to sit. I hope you've enjoyed this scenery and the stream hasn't been too loud, hopefully. Uh, and we got the scrambler out again. And uh, yeah, more videos coming along. Fish and chips will feature. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Just taking a few pickies and I'm home from a great day out with Moto Bob and the Urban GS that we've been hopping between. Let's pop the prices down, that's better. What a great day. Ran out of time, chatted like two old, I don't know, but uh, really got on well. Uh, jolly good chap, as they say. And. Uh, yeah, what did I think? I'm happy to be back on the Scrambler, but that's not to say I thought the Urban GS was a freaking good looking bike. Very smart, and I loved it in that black and yellow. And it's raining. I've just been photographing a shower on the um, top of the moor. You can see the rain in the distance, but didn't think it was much, but it's probably raining quite a lot. It's coming to Dulverton. This is, I mean, we've been nipping on today in places and not, but just this moment now, as I'm speaking, okay. It's a pretty idyllic scene here. But just 
bumbling along at 20 miles an hour on this scrambler is just delightful and uh, it's just a great experience i.e. riding a bike like this hmm. so Urban GS not for me but I recognise I think I don't think it would suit taller people uh, Rob's no, shorter than me and uh, and he gets on a lot better with it it surprises me a bit for a BMW with um, you know the Germans are fairly big guys normally anyway there great day out look forward to seeing the vid and I uh, hope you've enjoyed these silly outtakes as a compilation hello doggies right I'll bid you farewell as I continue home we didn't have time for our fish and chips which is oh, mildly distraught about that uh, I'll get my legal team on to Mr. Rob uh, insisting that a, re a revisit <laughs> is in order this time with fish and chips. <laughs> oh, well. Cheerio.